famous proverb, iron sharpens iron. You can't get good unless you have really good guys coming in at you and, uh, and pushing you and basically breaking you. I wanted to step in front of a freight train and see if I can live, see if I can survive. When you step into the fight, you're used to it. You're, you've, you've developed that level of conditioning, that level of toughness. You've gotten to that point where you want to be through your preparation, through your training. At this level, at the UFC level, you have to do that. This is me, this is what I go through. I've seen kids' lives changed because of a, a round sphere called a football. My life changed because of it. I always wanted a family. Um, like I always wanted, I always desired, that's why I played football. I just wanted to be around guys and have a community and, and end up going to the University of Redlands to go play, which is a Division three school. Um, best decision I could have ever made in my life. I spent two years there um, playing, earning my degree. Went back to Coach uh, Maynard and said, hey coach, I want to kind of coach you. It was after the first season that a guy that lived next door had came up to me after the last game of the first season. He's like, hey, you should uh, you know, get involved in fighting. You should come check this out. Got involved. Boom, went and took a class, and then every class, bam, 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 like just got addicted. I had never planned on fighting profession. I never planned on, on making it a career. I always told my players, you, you gotta do stuff 100%. You can't slack off, you can't be half, halfway with anything. When I realized that my kids, the guys that I was coaching, were watching me do this. It was a big deal to them. So that's when I stopped coaching and teaching. I just went full time with the fighting because I wanted to be an example to the guys that I coached. Hey, if you're going to do something, you don't look back. I'm all about team, all about team orientation, common goal, working with other people within your team. With fighting is very is very difficult because you have to be focused on your training, your diet, your all aspects of it. It could overwhelm you and be very self-centered. It's actually a problem I had at the beginning with doing it. Coming from a team sports background, I struggled with it. How do you have a fight career? You think about yourself 24-7. And then you have your family, you know what I'm saying, which, you should, which should be number one on your list. To me, sports are irrelevant in, in the sense of like, I don't care if you can be a running back and get two, three thousand yards in a season. I don't care if you can catch every single pass. I don't care how good you are at sports. If you're a jerk your whole life. But sports are not irrelevant in the sense that like they have a tremendous impact on people, um, on specifically the youth. Um, and that's what I see, that's, what, that's, what, that's why I like sports. I mean, man, you're talking about having a positive impact on a kid. It changes life and it's exponential. What I saw growing up was a single mom. My father wasn't around. My mom was on, was on welfare and she was on Section 8 housing. She didn't have child support for my father. She was going to school for him and working. She worked her butt off, graduated with honors. My financial situation um, probably wasn't the best, but like it wasn't, it wasn't the worst. I praise God for the situation that we grew up in because it shaped who I am. I grew up in the church. My grandma's super duper uh, Catholic. It wasn't until I was 18 or 19, right out of high school. I had the Lord open my eyes and the Lord, bam, smacked me down and drew me to Him. We 
we had our, one of our really close friends uh, die in a car accident. That probably had the most profound effect on me. It's something that I think about to this day, like you never, you, you never guaranteed your next heartbeat. Mixed martial arts is the most physically demanding thing I've ever done. Uh, I mean, some seriously hard practice, seriously hard stuff. I get smoked in practice most of the time. I just get picked up and slammed and dropped and taken down. And sometimes it becomes so frustrating. I'm like, how did I make it to the UFC? No one, no one gets to where they've been without, without help. The coaches basically were my positive male influences in my life. I hear all their voices in my head. Keep moving, keep going forward, keep going forward, keep coming, keep doing it. I stick my head down and just go as hard as I can for as long as I can, as fast as I can. Will I ever be the best in the world? That's not the point. The point is just to attack and just keep moving forward and just to do the best that you can be. What else can you do really?